Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Tech Coders, and today we are going to solve problem number one eight seven nine C of code forces that does make it alternating. Okay, this was the part of educational code forces round one fifty five rated for division two. Okay, so this is our question. So let's try to understand what basically question is saying to us. Let us suppose that this is my given a string. Okay, let us suppose that this is my given a string. So what I have to do, I have to make this string as an alternative binary string. I can see that this is a binary string. So what is an alternative binary string? It it will be like this: one zero one zero one, or zero one zero one zero one like this. Okay, or one zero one zero one zero like this. That is, there should not be consecutive one or zeros over there. Okay, this is what we are supposed to do. So let's do indexing for this case. So now we are done with the indexing part. Okay, I am saying that I should not have any consecutive zeros or ones over here. So now I can see in this string that I am having three consecutive zeros over here, three consecutive ones over here, and two consecutive ones over here. So this says to make my string as alternate binary string. So what what I am supposed to do? I am supposed to remove this extra zero. So let us suppose that this zero and this zero has been removed. This one and this one has been removed, and this one has been removed. So what is my remaining string? One, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. And now I can see that this is my alternate binary string. That is one zero one zero one zero one. Okay. So now see, we have made our string as an alternative binary string, and we are supposed to print two things. The first is that. We have to count the number of elements which we have deleted from our given string to make it as an alternative binary string. So let's count it. I deleted this one: one, two, three, four, and five. So five is my answer. This is very simple. The important part is the second one, which is required to be understood. In second part, we are supposed to print out or return the number of possible sequences. Which can be removed to get an alternative binary string, and let's see what I'm trying to say by the sequences. Okay, I can see over is that I remove second index element, third, seven, eight, and eleven. So see, I remove two, three, seven, eight, and eleven. Now I'm saying that I don't want to remove this two. Okay, rather than removing this two, I wanted to delete this one. So now what will be my combination? It will be like one, three. Seven, eight, and eleven. Now I am saying that I don't want to remove this two. Okay, I don't want to remove this. Sorry. Now I am saying that I I don't want to remove this three. I just want to remove this one and two. Okay, I don't want to remove three. I just want to remove one and two. Okay. So see, in all these three cases, I am removing two zeros out of three. Okay, and if if I remove this two, I am having this zero. If I remove This two, I'm having this zero. If I'm removing this two, then I'm having this zero. So yeah, my answer will not be wrong over here. Now I'm saying that rather than removing this seven, I wanted to remove six and eight. So what will be my combination? It will be like one, two, six, eight, and eleven. So see, there will be multiple combinations. So we are supposed to return the count of all these possible combinations over here. So now. How we can find it? Let's see in our further approach. So see, what I was doing, I was saying that I'm having three zeros over here. That is, I'm having two extra zero, two extra zero, which is required to be removed. Over here, I'm having three ones. So out of three, I'm supposed to return two extras. Okay. Over here, I'm having two ones. So I have to remove one as it is extra over here. What I meant to say by extra? Let's see. I was having three. So I'm saying that I'll remove this and this. I'm having three. I'll remove this and this. I'm having two. I'm remove this. So this means that these zeros, these ones, and these ones are extra. And these ones, zeros are stopping us to make our string as an alternative binary string. And as soon as we'll remove these extras, I'll having my string as alternative binary string. Okay. So that's why we are removing this. So what was our first intention? At first, we are supposed to remove the number of operations which we are supposed to perform to make this string as alternative binary string. So I am saying that, so I am saying that my operations will be two plus two plus one, that is five. Now let's come to the second part. This is an important one. What I said, I can remove two, 
थ्री सेवन एट और इलेवन लाइक वेज आई कैन रिमूव वन थ्री सेवन एट इलेवन नाम से इन दैट राधर देन रिमूविंग सेवन एंड एट आई वॉन्ट टू रिमूव सिक्स एंड एट वन थ्री सिक्स एट इलेवन नाम से राधर देन रिमूविंग इलेवन आई वॉन्ट टू डिलीट टेन वन थ्री सिक्स एट टेन सो देर विल बी मैनी सर्च कॉम्बिनेशन सो नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ मैनी सर्च कॉम्बिनेशन कैन बी पॉसिबल I am saying that the number of combination is equals to the product of all these consecutive elements. That is, here I was having three consecutive zeros. Here I was having three consecutive ones, and here I was having two consecutive ones. Okay. So what will be my number of combinations? My number of combinations will be equal to three into three into two, which is gonna be equal to eighteen, which is equals to eighteen. What is this eighteen? I said na. At first, I removed two, three, seven, eight, eleven. Then I said one, three, seven, eight, eleven. After that, I can say that I can remove rather than one, three. I am removing one and two. So what will be my other combination? It can be like this: one, two, seven, eight, eleven. Okay. So I am saying that I can have such eighteen combinations. Question says that it is not important to remove sequentially. But as as I can see over here, at first I was removing two, three, seven, eight, eleven. I can also remove. Three, seven, eight, two, and eleven. I can also remove ten, eight, six, one, three. Okay. So now, the for a particular one combination, how many such arrangement can be possible? How many such arrangement can be possible? So we have learned this in permutations and combinations that if I'm having five elements with me, if I'm having five elements in with me. So, how many arrangements can be possible like this? How many such arrangements can be possible? I am saying five factorial. I am saying five factorial. As there are five elements, as there are five elements, so the number of such arrangements can be five factorials. Because we have already studied that if I am having n elements with me, so the number of ways I can arrange them is nine factorial. This is a basic maths. Okay, this is a basic maths. How we get this? I am saying that there are five positions. Okay, over here I fixed one. So over here five elements can come. And now when I fixed one over here, over here I can get only get four because one is fixed. Now I fixed in these two positions. So over here it will be three. Likewise two. Likewise one. Five into four into three into two into is equals to one twenty. Okay, is equals to one twenty. And this is what our five factorial is. This is what our five factorial is. So this is what we are doing. So now see. Possible arrangements can be 120. So now, what will be my final result? My final result will be 18 into 120. My final result will be 18 into 120. So yeah, I'll simply print 18 into 120 over here. So that's it. This is what we are supposed to perform in our question. Now let's move to the coding part. How we can code this approach? So see, this is mod. Let's understand what is mod over here. So now see, as we are finding factorial over here, and then after finding the factorial, I was multiplying with the possible combinations. So that number can be really very large, and that's why it is given in the question that print the remainder modulo this one. That is double nine eight two double four three five three. So that's why we are considering mod in our coding part. So see if we if we don't consider this mod, then my answer will be really very high. Okay, and the integer and even long long can't be able to handle that number. So that's why we are taking mod over here. Now we are having all this variables. N will be the size of the string extras. Extras are the number of consecutive elements, operations, the number of operations which we have intended to perform. Factorial. This will hold the factorial. Initial its value is one, and this will be my result. Okay. So now let's come over here. So this was my string over there. Okay. So I'm iterating inside this for loop and I'm checking if my current element is equal to the next element or not. And if it is equal to next next element, I am just incrementing my extras. I am incrementing my extra. And in case if it if it is not equal to next element like this, currently my index is over here, and these two indexes are unequal to each other. So at that time, what I am doing, I am adding number of extras to my number of operations which I am intended to be performed. Okay, what will be value of my extra till 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 here? It will be two. I'll be standing over here and I'll check this. I'll stand over here. I'll check this. So it's two. So I am supposed to remove these two elements. I meant to say either of the two elements. I have to remove two elements over here, so I'm adding that operation over here. Okay. After that, I'm again incrementing extras. Why again I'm incrementing extras? See, as I'm as I'm removing two elements from here, that means the number of consecutive elements is two plus one. That is 
3. That's why I'm incrementing extras. After that, what I'm doing? Result into extras. I'm doing result into extras. Why? At that time, what we were doing, we were just multiplying all the count of consecutive elements like this. Okay, 3 into 3 into 2. So, this is what we are doing at over here. Now, we are done with this also. Okay, after this, now I'm having the unequal value. So, I'm re declaring my extras as 0. Okay, now I'm re declaring my extras as 0. Now, again, I'll go over here. I'll check. Okay, unequal, unequal, unequal. But here, I'm having equal. Same procedure will keep on going. Okay, now see. What is the significance of this if? I'll be over here. I'll check if it's, if it's next is equal. Yeah. What will be my extra? My extra will be 1. My extra will be 1. But over here, I'm having equal value. So this is. So this if is for that only. Okay. If my extra is not as equal to 0, that means that I have to perform some operations. So I added that extra to my operations. Now I incremented my extra because if I have to perform one operation, then that means that I'm having two consecutive elements. So again, I'm updating my result. So now see, over here, I'm trying to find the factorial. What I was doing, I said that we are supposed to remove five elements. We are supposed to remove five elements. Okay. So I was calculating factorial over there. So this is what we are doing here. We are calculating the factorial of the operations which we are supposed to perform. And after that, we were multiplying number of results in the factorial. So this is what we are doing over here. And after, and after performing all these operations, we are finally printing out our number of operations and the number of possible sequences or the combinations. Okay. So this was a solution guys. I hope you understood all the concepts and the logic over here. And in case if you're having any doubt, then feel free to comment. Okay. We'll definitely discuss and help you to come out of it. So like this video, subscribe our channel and share this with your friends who are participating in all this code forces and late code round and all. Okay. So thank you for watching and have a good day.